Climate literacy at the community level is key because these problems start at the community, they are observed at the community, and the solutions come at the community level. So we need to ensure that climate literacy, knowing that these problems are coming as a result of climate change, will be at the community level, and when we get resources to address uh, the issues, uh, then again we go back to the community. That is currently a gap. Next slide. For economic cooperation development has launched um, a couple of years ago a big global program on rehabilitating uh, soils and um, in, within the framework of that project, for example, we have supported 1.7 million farmers, mainly smallholder farmers, to cultivate over 500,000 hectares of land in agri according to agroecological principles. They could increase their yields and uh, about 400,000 tons of CO2 equivalents have been sequestered and stored in soils. So I think that, sh that shows the priority this topic has for German development cooperation. So how can we respond then to uh, climate sensitive infection? We have to be able to change the way we look at um, um, drug resistant infections, but also climate sensitive diseases. We must be able to uh, uh, afford ourselves the knowledge about what is changing, what is new in vegetative diseases. What are the new emerging diseases? Some of which are mainly zoonotic in nature, nearly 70% of them. Migration that is due to climate change. How then can we uh, be able to respond to that? We must look at the looming crisis in innovation and access to treatment and means of prevention and control, especially vaccines. The Africa Climate Summit is both a demonstration of the unwavering collective commitment of the people of Africa to their vision to make humanity's path home here in Africa, a land of abundant potential, limitless opportunity, and the possibility of shared prosperity. It is also showcases our determination to mobilize a global coalition of emergency responders to ensure that the industrialization necessary to drive future economic transformation restores our planet's vitality and ecological balance. Have waited for this final moment for us to endorse the Nairobi Declaration. Didn't disappoint. We showed passion. We shared our challenges and our solutions. On a side note, I noticed and remember that most female innovators were the only ones calling for action, calling for support, and calling for funding during their presentations. Everyone else should learn from it. Don't be afraid to ask for help. As, as, as we return to our respective communities, the responsibility lies on our shoulders to outdo ourselves compared to the day we departed to Kenya. Therefore, we must connect, collaborate, fail together, lick our wounds, and continue to inspire one another. It's only through collective effort that we can truly make a meaningful impact. In closing, innovators, scale up, trickle down, ripple out. No matter how you do it, remember that by improving lives in our communities, we are also contributing to an improved climate. Thank you very much.